Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm Hari Haran. I'm a final year student at Bits Goa. We have Anand here with us. Anand is a computer science student at Bits Goa. So we'll be guiding you based on like what branches are available and what he's in computer science at Bits Goa. And then we'll be telling you about the advantages in computer science in Bits Goa. What it, Bits is known for its really really good placements and good brand value alumni network. And then it has got its own concept, you know, high fees and you know some other things as well. We'll be teaching you how to navigate around these things and at the same time uh, certain things that you should keep in mind while choosing your colleges. So I just said Anand introduce himself. Uh, hey everyone, I'm Anand, a uh, final year computer science student at Bitsua. Um, so yeah, in Bits I've uh, done a bit of research, I've explored a bit of industry. So I've done, I worked with professors at CMU, UPIN, and I've also done an industry intern at American Express. So most probably I'll be, I'll be going for my masters after this. So yeah, the point is I've like, explored a bit of both industry and research, so I could give you a bit of advice in both yeah. and like uh, talk about how Bits helps uh, in both areas. Yeah, and then and what is your J advance? How was your J advance and your bit set score? Like, can you give us a little intro of that? Yeah, uh, so my bit set score was 370 out of 450. I think the scale has changed right now, so yeah. Yeah, you'll have to compare with the cutoffs then. Uh, and then J main, I had 99.56, and advanced, I had a rank of 5045. Yeah, and then why do you choose bits go out? Well, you have other options like IIT and you know, like other good NITs in computer science. But why do you choose bits go out? I mean, like, if I had a better G advanced rank, rank of, I don't know, if 2000 or something, I might have chosen IIT Patna series or something like that. Uh, I didn't have that. Uh, and then, so my major options are bits, NITs, uh, or, you know, non CS electrical branches at IIT. And I was like, I wanted cash, so I wanted CS. <laughs> so it was uh, not that hard a choice because bits had better placements than NIT, and it also had the brand value of, you know, being bits planning. Yeah. It's Goa, but yeah. brackets. Are, yeah, yeah. 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 And the thing is, whenever and the advantage of being in bits is that you get the element network of the four other campuses, like you know, like Dubai, Hyderabad, Pilani, and Goa. Dubai being the name. Dubai. <laughs> first Dubai. Dubai first priority. Yeah. I'm just joking, guys. Like, like technical victory from Dubai, but even then, like, you know, like I think even when you introduced us, or even I went for the BGM Bits are Global Meet this year. Even then everybody was like, there was no differentiation among campuses as such. You know, we were all seen as Bits Pilani students. We were all like, we, we all introduced ourselves that we're from Bits Pilani. And yeah, and when it comes to placements, bit placements is divided into two parts, you know, first sem placements and second sem placements. But at the same time, there are really, really good companies coming in both semesters. There are companies like Google and Microsoft and Salesforce and Disha. All these companies do come for placements. They do recruit students from BITS campuses. And yeah, and the, one of the most important things about being in BITS is the practice school system. So how was practice school for you? Uh, practice school, I feel, is like the biggest USB of uh, BITS, like... It's a very, very useful thing, so irrespective of what we, uh, whatever you plan to do. So, for instance, if you're, uh, for, for me, I chose practice school despite being interested in research because I needed a backup of a job and I did not uh, know much of lead code or DSA or whatever you need to get jobs. But BITS takes care of that for you. Like, it brings really good companies for PS and uh, the companies usually, not every company, but a lot of companies have a good PPO rate. So, that is pre-placement offer. So, I, yeah, I feel like I got a job without much effort, <laughs> like just because of being in bed. So, yeah. you know, like during coaching and all, professors yeah. used to say, if you work hard now, uh -huh. you can still in college. So, yeah, yeah. it's kind of true. Uh -huh. like, at least for bits, it's true. Like, yeah, it's true. Uh, yeah, so American Express is a bit, pretty decent company, at least for my profile. Like, I didn't really deserve that thing, but because of being in bits, I got it. Yeah. And that gave me, like, a lot of, you know, like uh, mentally it freed me, like, to apply. I could. Uh, I already had a backup, so it was uh, yeah, like easier to apply for MS, whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One of the biggest advantages is that you don't really have to go through a coding rounds or processes. Like generally, companies have huge interview process, like three, four rounds of interviews, and then only that after after that they'll select you. But then yeah. it's like purely based on your branch and your CGPA, you'll be allowed to a company. So based on whatever companies are willing to take you for interns, you, you can just shortlist them and just rank them according to whatever the choice you want. Companies, companies. Yeah, yeah. So the companies like you know Nutanix and there was Uber. And getting into Uber and stuff just based on CGP is sort of insane. It's insane, it's yeah. Insane. And there are people who got good amount of PPOs as well, I think, this yeah, year. Yeah. People and then if it was otherwise, if it's through placement process, you'll have to be really, really good at competitive coding. Okay. And then you have to go through multiple. The best in the campus, yeah. Like. yeah, and not just that, like there are companies like which come and they don't even take you because you know because you're not really that good in certain companies. And it's even difficult to get an interview call in certain companies like I mean, these. 
But then it's like you don't even have to give interviews. You're just there, and based on your performance in that internship, six months is a really, really good time to prove yourself. You'll be given an option uh, for PPO, and that's what happened with him, and that's what happened with me as well. Like, we both got PPOs from our prep school, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I think that's there. It also helps with the money aspect. So this has a high fees, as you guys know. But back to school, you'll be doing an additional internship. So this is separate from the summer mm-hmm. that you could do. So this thing could uh, you, you'll be earning for five months. You get pretty good stipends, and that could really help you with if you have a loan or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, American Express almost had a stipend of around like one point two five lakhs, one point two five lakh, and I had a stipend of around sixty seventy thousand to eighty thousand rupees. So with that, we were able to like have fun, and at the same time, we were able to save and you know pay back our loans and fees, and that in that way it helps a lot. And at the same time. Uh, There are certain companies like Uber which pay you like around 1.5, 1.6 lakhs a month for the work that they do. So I think that is that is insane, just for being an intern. And let's talk about the coding culture at Bits. So I think Bits is one of the most diverse coding cultures out there. There are people who are interested in machine learning, deep learning, these type of things as well, like him. And there are people who are interested in development and open source and GSOC and these type of selections as well. When I was in second year, I think. Bits had Bits Go had the second, third highest number of these sort of selection rates. If I was not wrong, in the year twenty twenty one, I think. I think that's pretty insane. And there are people, there are clubs associated. How does these sort usually help? Like- How does GSOC usually help? Right? Yeah, so basically, if you're applying for off campus, so generally GSOC having a GSOC on your profile it really really uh, helps recruiters shortlist you. So maybe like we can uh, GSOC is really useful in that case and having. A track record of contributing to really, really good organizations is a really good signal for recruiters as well. Like you know, get you know about other software, you know other technologies. So I think in that way, I think it's yeah, pretty. Why is it specifically high in this world? Like, what yeah, do we have yeah. this thing. So I think there's a uh, what do you say a status sort of thing. In first year itself, there are seniors who come for sessions. They take sessions, and uh, there's a lot of awareness starting from first year. Like this is what is GSOC? What is the advantage of GSOC? So we are started. So they're uh, having. Them guide us, so I think that's very useful. Right. So in, that is true for everything. Like I said, it's very diverse. So you find good people, good batchmates, good seniors doing like everything. So you'll find people doing pretty amazing in research, pretty amazing in development, open source, even competitive coding. So mm-hmm. like it really helps to have you know successful people, successful people around you that are interested in the same things as you. So like he said, seniors like by first year I was like very clear on what all I have to do. On what uh, if I wanted to do research, I had to do these things. Like I had to do all these research internships, maintain a good CG, etc. Like for uh, if I wanted development, like what all things I should do. Like we have a pretty good roadmap, like a pretty good idea on what we have to do, like in first year because of these sessions by seniors. So yeah, that is something. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. We also have clubs. Yeah, yeah. I think so. There are certain really really good coding clubs. Maybe I can talk about DevSoc. So in so what DevSoc does is we develop applications which can be used by other students of the club, so that everybody gets benefited by this. And then uh, there we also build applications. We contribute to open source, and they help seniors really help us when it comes to GSOC applications and procedures as well. And maybe we can talk about a little bit of Sadle and you know the machine learning aspects of it. Yeah, uh, I wasn't like specifically interested in core machine learning or something. I was interested in research, so it did have ML aspect. But uh, so I wasn't really part of Sadle, but a very close friend of mine was. So Sadle is like the machine learning community of Bitsboa. and it has like an incredible density of talent. Like if you see the seniors there. It's absolutely mind blowing. Like yeah. people getting, I don't know, research scientist yeah. straight out of college, which is like a PhD role. Yeah. People getting PhDs at Oxford, mm. uh, MS at CMU and stuff. Like these are like very very mm. competitive places, and it's not like one or one off cases. Like most of them are doing amazingly well. So mm. if you have a community like this in a college, like I regret not being part of it, but mm. if you come yeah. here, you could definitely. They have amazing collaborations, and like if you join Sadle, mm. most probably you'll end up pretty successful. Yeah, and I think even you also done really good internships at other universities. Maybe you can give a throw some light upon that. Yeah, I guess. Uh, so I most of my interns were like remote. Uh, I did it just sitting in the uh, sitting in my room during lockdown. But the experience itself was pretty valuable. I got to work with very smart, amazing people at uh, universities like CMU, UPenn. So that was maybe the best part of my best experience. So it was like I wish I could, you know, do that for uh, my career. Like, mm-hmm. but it's you know really tough to get into those places for M- MS PhD or whatever. Yeah, but. I I was at least lucky enough to have a taste of that experience during my undergrad, mm-hmm. and for that too I feel bit self proud. So when I was uh, applying for these opportunities, mm-hmm. I I started a bit early. I started in second year, so I didn't have an amazing profile that time, but uh, I had the bits filler tag, mm-hmm. and uh, the tag helps uh, when mailing because the people I mailed were. But strategically Indians, mm. so that they would know about this planning. Uh-huh. So uh, I would just write, I'm a student from this planning, and I, I usually used to get 
like enough replies like i think i mailed around 10 people i got around four replies from good universities mm-hmm. and i feel the only reason was the which planet i mm-hmm. without that i don't think i would have gotten those mm-hmm. replies true so yeah that's that makes sense yeah. Let's talk about the professors and courses over here. So I think the professors here are really, really smart. Most of them have done a strong masters at or a PhD at uh, definitely a PhD at really, really good universities. You have to do PhD. You have to do a PhD and you need to have some publications. So in that way, they have really, really strong connections with some a lot of professors abroad. <clears throat> some of the profs are really, really accomplished when it comes to research. So maybe when you work with them, <clears throat> something called SOPs where you can have a semester long project with them. You can do some semester long project with them, which really, really helps you. when you come when you go for a masters or when you apply for a thesis uh post your third year so in that way i think it's really really good i um, i work with prof called sagar the sent he's one of the really good cs profs over here so maybe so he had a lot of good connections with professors abroad i know a friend of mine who worked with sagar the sensor so he got his thesis undergraduate thesis in georgia tech based on the connections that he had with the prof here so i think in that way i think it was krishikesh over here which is who was in computer science so he's doing his the- remote thesis in georgia tech So he's doing a thesis. Yeah, he's doing a thesis over there. So the thing with a thesis is that you can choose either a practice school or a thesis. Maybe if you're interested in a master's, maybe a thesis would probably help yeah. in that way. But then you are given a chance, a choice of doing a thesis versus a master's. What is the scene at NITs and IITs? Like, do they have to do courses <coughs> in both semesters or both? Or uh, do, can um, they do a thesis? I've seen IITs people doing thesis. Yeah, I think there's an option for thesis at IITs, but there's no like practice school as such. I mean, there, if they get, so can they do off-campus thesis like? I don't know, MSR or something. Like I think some IITs do have an uh, exchange program or where they can go to some other university and do a thesis or something. I'm not very sure of what happens when it comes to uh, an off-campus thesis. Mm-hmm. We have to check that out. Yeah. But then BITS does have a strong off-campus thesis. A lot of people do thesis abroad. That's definitely there. Yeah. And do you want to add up to this or do you want to go to the cons? Uh, yeah, like professors, I think you could talk about the courses as well. Yeah, in course in CS. Uh, yeah. yeah. So CS course is where and you know mind blowing. Like mm-hmm. it wasn't like too good. Like it was decent enough. So uh, the courses were usually light. They were into project heavy. It didn't take a lot of time. So that could be a good thing or bad thing. It, it's a good thing for learning. Like if I look back, I don't know what exactly I learned. Like I just mm-hmm. studied a lot before the exams and yeah. wrote something and yeah. <laughs> so that like typical school type learning. Yeah. So I hoped it would be a bit different at this, but. Sadly, it wasn't. But that doesn't to say that the professors are bad or anything. Like the class itself, I didn't. Yeah. Like I did. I think I did learn a few stuff. Maybe <laughs> I forgot. Uh, but uh, some courses were good. Like we also have an option of data science minor, so that you can write it on your CG and you have pretty decent set of courses from choo- you can choose from. And those courses I feel were pretty good at least for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, like courses depend a lot on which professor takes, etc. Mm-hmm. So I don't think I could give a proper mm-hmm. summary of it. But I don't know if I had to rate it maybe like seven out of ten. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's true. And maybe do you want us to go with the cons, or do you want to highlight on some other topic? Uh, yeah, let's go to the cons. Yeah, so I think one of the biggest cons of being in bits is the high fees. But there are certain ways that you can work around it. One of the ways you can work around it is is by applying the MCN, which is the Merit Come Needs Scholarship, where you can uh, apply for a Merit Come Needs Scholarship if you have a a certain there's a certain th- income threshold, and if you are below that. You'll be eligible to apply for it, and based on your CGPA, you'll be given a certain amount of scholarship. How tough is it? Like, how much CGPA? I think you. It, it, there's a different different brackets of CGPA. Like, it's like 8.5 plus, and then there's 6.7 plus, and then there's 6 plus. So based on that, you'll be. Different. You get a scholarship for getting 6 CGPA. From little six, little bit more. You won't get full scholarship, but be like around 25 percent or 20 percent. There's a different different status of that. Maybe I can make a detailed video about scholarships, but maybe right now I'm not sure. But that does exist. That this does exist. And maybe if you're if you know if you don't come under that income threshold, there's something called merit scholarship in general. So based on your CGPA, and if you're in the top one percent of people in bits in terms of CGPA, you'll yeah. be given a. It's a ninety-nine percent chance you won't get it. Uh, but even then, it's one percent chance that you might. But then based on that, you might you will be given a good, really really good scholarship based on that. Is it like I think only like the one person gets hundred and. I think even if you're in top two percent, you'll get forty percent. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that, very competitive. It's competitive and it's difficult. Yes. Yeah, and fees it's like a pretty pretty big con. So yeah, I think. Yeah. You know, like I don't know if you put two guys with the same potential, one at NIT, one at BITS. Uh, like, do you think they'll end up doing that different career guys? I think there might be because the exposure here is slightly different. The opportunities here are it is a lot different. Yes, right? like we are getting like specific advantages for paying extra. Like we are getting the brand, we are getting the practice school. Practice school. So we are, we are getting advantages, but I'm not really sure if it is worth double the cost or something. That that analysis is something you have to do. So the double cost thing, the I think one thing that really helps with that is practice school. Like you yeah. said, the scholarships. Like I didn't get any scholarship, so I didn't meet the income threshold or. 
obviously I was nowhere near the merit scholarship <laughs> and uh, yeah scholarships is something tough, where it's yeah. tough so don't rely on that yep. uh, and I think even NITs and IITs will have scholarships right so yeah. we could further reduce yeah yeah so obviously don't choose with so an IIT or something uh, like computer science yeah computer science top uh, right, yeah. or even like I don't know something if you are trying up to I don't know 2500 yeah, or something yeah 3000 then of course IIT is your IIT some of right so NITs maybe you could prefer that so yeah, right yeah. if money is an issue definitely with yeah. money is an issue you could still you know money was an issue for me but I don't yeah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> the boy is going to envy you now. Have to sell his kidneys now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, money is never an issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. And yeah, I think well, the only thing else that you need to add. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I uh, he told about envy, right? So envy is in that amazing for masters specifically. Like it's sound school, but it's a trick. <laughs> it's like which plane go? He cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so I I I think the biggest con for me personally was that bits has a bit harsh grading policy yep. and bits in general is pretty competitive and uh, the bits tag I didn't feel it really helped during masters so what the hell I felt was the rest of the profile that I got because of bits but the bits tag itself I don't think it really helped I never noticed it helped much for our seniors as well so what helps more is cgpa and cgpa you can get amazing cgpa if you go to a local college i feel mm. right yeah true like a guy who has the potential to come to bits if he goes to a local college most mm. probably he'll be a 9 pointer mm. and But most probably but this I'm, doesn't mean that you go to a local college right, as yeah, you yeah, come here and work hard i mean that, that yeah, 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 yeah. so i feel yeah in i that, feel in that regard it's yeah reading can be a little harsh but then at the same time i think it you get a lot along you learn to push yourself in certain ways i guess Yeah, but yeah. then it does affect your master master's prospects and PS prospects when it comes to see grading because like some colleges the grading is like extremely like light and then our college it's like yeah, you're like, comparing only bits. Yeah, even yeah, in terms of bits, like it some colleges have it easier and some colleges have it. This two colleges, Pilani and Hyderabad. Pilani and Hyderabad, yeah. You're telling both of them are easier. Yeah. If you say so. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think that's that's what we heard. And Pilani, I definitely disagree because it's related grading for us. So, oh, the competition. You're talking about the grading more. system, like you know, like if you get certain amount of marks above the average, you'll be given certain grade, and it's really based on the the curve that we got. I've seen got. random words of forward saying we are a bit better than Pilani, we are a bit better than or something. Hyderabad is best. I, I don't think. I think people are just assuming stuff. Okay, maybe. Ah, okay. But so. in general, it's not good. Bits for grading, like in it's, general, if you see, it's not good. It's so, yeah. It's it's. Not in that way. Yeah, it's bad in that way. But otherwise, I think overall, I think it's a pretty great experience we had the last four years, and we had five years still. We have no reason to like you know praise bits because we'd be graduating like a month, so we have like you don't need to like. Did we praise it that way? Yeah, I think we I did. Think we, <laughs> we, we did, did praise it. it, but then we are being completely honest and genuine. Yeah, and it's, it's not like bits over IIT or anything. <laughs> no, nobody will do that. It's our genuine, honest feedback from our last yeah, four years. Yeah, that's just pretty good. Like worth the fees. You? Yeah, I think yeah. In terms of ROI, definitely. In those CS people, they get a decent ROI. Generally, yeah, CS median placement are usually twenty five lakhs. Around twenty five. So you get yes, a yes, yes. good ROI. So that in that way it helps. What else? I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe to the channel, and if you do like it, share it with your friends as well. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> 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 I think it's funny in this thing. <laughs> so the first thing was actually good. First thing was decent. Let's play. Are we? We'll do this properly. You know. Are you? 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 Are you?